Hi, I'm Andrea from Pink Cake Princess and I'm going to show you how to make a Chinese lantern cupcake. Chinese and Vietnamese New Year is coming up at the end of this month, so hopefully you guys will have a chance to create this lantern cupcake, the firecracker cupcake, and team it up with the cheeky boy and the cheeky girl cupcake from last year's tutorial set. And click that subscribe button too if you want to see more um, cupcake videos from my channel. Okay, so I'm just going to start off by icing a regular size cupcake. I'm creating a semi-dome finish with my offset spatula. Next I'm going to be rolling out some red fondant. Now you can find out more about fondant icing and a list of materials in the video description below. I'm just cutting out a disc of fondant with my circle cutter and then I'm just placing it on top of my cupcake and smoothing it over with my fingers. Next I'll be rolling out some pink coloured fondant, I'm just dusting my surfaces with my cornflour bag so that it doesn't stick and cutting out tiny little portions with my palette knife. Now I'm just going to ball it up and then slightly flatten it with my finger. Next I'm holding it down with my finger slightly and then using my palette knife I'm going around and putting little indents in to create the petals. And then I'm going to use the bottom of my brush to create a little indent in the middle. You can go around and just fix up your petals if they've um, gone out of place. And that's basically it. Um, you'll be creating a few of those. Okay, so now onto some orange fondant. I've just balled up um, a ball of fondant and now I've stretched it out to look a little bit like an egg and then I've cut it in half. Here I am just smoothing over the edges and then now I'm going to use my toothpick just to create little indents going across it so that it looks like um, a lantern. And there you have it. Okay, now onto some yellow fondant. Um, just cutting out a small portion and then just rolling it into a ball and then stretching out slightly and then cutting it in half again smoothing the edges over there and then I'm just gonna put it on the lantern just to check now back to my um, orange portion I'm just putting a couple more indents in so that it looks more more like a lantern and then now I'm just gonna assemble it I'm just putting a little bit of water with my brush and then gluing it together and there you have the lantern okay checking it on my cupcake there and now back to my yellow fondant, I'm just using the palm of my hands to roll it out as thin as I can. Um, it is breaking in sections but that doesn't matter, I'm actually going to cut it up into smaller sections anyway. So, um, Okay, now here I go, I'm just trimming off um, small little short sections. I'm probably going to need about five or six in total. And once I have it, I'm just going to put them together and then kind of just pinch in with my fingers so that it forms like a little tassel. Now that's going to be at the bottom of the lantern and now I'm just going to stick it on the cupcake with some water. Now I should have put the tassel on first but it doesn't matter I'm just going to stick it on now and then just brushing on the water and then stick it on underneath and then I'm just going to gently press it down so it stays in place. Okay so since I've got my little um, yellow fondant uh, strip there I'm just going to cut out tiny little bits. Now you don't need to do this bit but it just adds a little bit more detail to your little uh, flower blossom. So I've just used a, my brush to put a little bit of water in the middle of the flowers and then I'm just going to add the tiny little yellow portions in just to give it a bit more dimension. And You can use your toothpick to um, uh, push it in place if you need to. And that's it, there you have it. There's your little flower blossoms ready to go. Okay, so now onto some brown fondant. Now you can um, use chocolate uh, fondant as well for this or brown colored fondant or even chocolate modeling paste for this. Okay, so just rolling it out as thin as I can and I'm just going to create some like branches on the cupcake. Okay, now using my water, water and my brush, I'm just going to um, brush on where I want the branches to drape and then sticking it on and then I'm just going to cut the excess off. I'm just going to Keep going and adding it where I want it to sit and then slowly pressing it down so that it sticks. Now if you do like my work don't forget to subscribe as well to see more uh, videos from myself and throw me a comment let me know what your thoughts are. Okay so to create the leaves I've just cut out three tiny little green sections and then I've just created a little um, sausage shape and flatten it and then I just pinched in the top section and flatten it down to create the leaves. And there you have it. And then finally, I'm just going to assemble the rest of the, uh, the leaves and the, the flower blossoms with my water. And that would be your cupcake almost finished. Just adding the final little details now. 
And once you've finished um, this cupcake, you can also check out my other cupcakes. I did do a little cute Chinese boy last year, and or a cheeky Chinese boy, and a cute little Chinese girl as well, if you want to check them out. Okay, so this is another step that you don't need to do if you don't have this, but it just adds a little bit more dimension. I'm using edible um, gold paint, or edible... Yeah, it's like an edible luster paint that you can you can add onto your cupcakes and eat. But um, yeah, I'm just adding it also onto the little uh, flower centers as well. Okay, thanks again for watching guys. I uh, hope everyone out there who's celebrating Chinese and Vietnamese New Year a very happy Lunar New Year. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a prosperous New Year and keep coming back to my channel to watch more videos from uh, myself. Thanks again for subscribing, sharing, commenting and liking my videos.